I want to welcome everybody to the 2016 SRS opening event. It's going to be nasty. Get ready for another episode of the Southern Rock Racing Series Post Race Show. The Southern Rock Racing Series Bouncer Post Race Show is brought to you by Nitro Gear. the SRRS Studios. Here's your host. Welcome everybody. I'm Denny Downs with Rocker Riggs TV. And I'm Clyde Bynum with Southern Rock Racing. All right. The Bouncer season opener was this weekend. It was presented by Nitro Gear and it was at Stony Lonesome. Stony Lonesome and, the, and the, I want to give a big thanks to Tyler and the Stony Lonesome crew. Those guys worked very hard making sure we had some really good tracks and made sure that the spectators who came in huge numbers yeah, to watch this event. event but they were all had great views and uh, were very safe and it was a really great event i'd like to take just a second and thank our uh, marketing partners because i mean without them they're the ones no, no, no they're the ones that help us make it happen and they help a lot of these drivers uh continue they to be on these rigs the way I, they do I mean, bad definitely all right first off we got scs gearbox yeah those guys <laughs> build a build a t case that uh that hasn't yet to been broke has it they absolutely take a beat uh, Warfare, Bobby Tanner, Screaming Blue. There's, there's just endless names out there. Yeah, that, if them that guys can't break it, then I'm pretty sure anybody else running is not going to And we, uh, sure. we seen lots of front, front drive line failures and, and some, some big things breaking this weekend. And, and these guys, the horsepower in these rigs are taking big numbers now. Yeah. So the parts mm -hmm. of keeping together is, is pretty enormous. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and then at the end of the day, got to put it to the ground with something and Raceline Wheels has been taking some abuse and those guys have been working very hard to continue to adapt and, and advance in what we do with these things so yeah, it's strong, really cool. Very strong. All right and around those Raceline Wheels will be those good old Scotty Go For stickies. Scott Go For takes care of a lot of these drivers. Yes, uh, all these drivers know that know who Scott is and he he does a lot for the sport and he does a lot for these drivers and he, I think everybody out there uh, that's running is probably on Sticky from Scott Go Forth at this point. Yeah, well, I mean, he's the man. Yep, he uh, he takes care of a lot of them. So, and then we got Rick's Powder Coating, who's been doing a lot of chassis for the guys. He's he's right here in the Memphis area, but there's a lot of these guys that are driving in, getting them done same day. They show up over there in the morning, and right. uh, and he takes care of these guys that were from out of town. So he does a really good job to to bend over backwards and take care of these gets guys. Get them in, get them out, make sure it's done right. Yes, sir. We will be right back with the SRRS post race show. Hey, I'm Dave Z, and I'm hanging out here with Travis the Hitman Love. Welcome back to the SRRS Post Race Show. All right, everybody. RCV Recovery Crew, they were back working hard, keeping us going on two, and I say very lightly, pretty tough hills. I mean... I'd Tell say they were more than a little tough heels. Some, some of these guys and uh, some of the fans beforehand that were seeing some of the some of the pictures and stuff on social media were like, "There's nobody climbing either one of these hills." And I think some yeah. of the drivers have even uh, even were debating on whether they were going to make these hills. But uh, at the end of the day, we had 13 guys make both of the hills. Really? Okay. Yeah. Well, what was our first hill we had? First hill was Who's Your Daddy. A uh, lot of people from that area know that hill. Mm -hmm. Nobody's climbed it in a very long time, and it started out with just a uh, slight grade and dirt. And then a very, very tall rock ledge that, that had a pretty good angle to it. It wasn't straight up, but uh, you couldn't climb it unless you took momentum into the into it and kind of jumped up on top of it. All right, so how so, many actually finished that hill? That hill, uh, we had 16 people finish the first hill. 16 uh, out of how many? Had 28 guys take off at the start line. Wow. Mm. So uh, that's a what, a little over 50%? Yeah, right at 50, but hey, that's... And uh, that's actually what a lot of people predicted, uh, kind of what I was predicting was around 50%. So. And what did we have for Hill 2? Hill 2 was a hill called Vendetta. Uh, I don't think anybody, there's never been a rock master go out the top of this hill really? uh, before this event. And it was it was pretty intimidating. Uh, it was very, very steep and very long. Uh, and basically when you got up about halfway, it had a great big hole with a rock ledge that you could stand on and, and was probably four or five feet tall. Really? Man. But, uh, yep. so how many made this one? Uh, we had 15 guys go out the top of this hill, which, which it, it, on video, it looks way easier than it was because these guys yeah. turned it into a highway. 
Danny Smith in the warfare buggy had broken a front drive line on hill one. Made a bet with Bobby Tanner uh, for a hundred bucks. Bobby told him he couldn't get up there past the banner. <laughs> so uh, Danny backed up at the start line with two wheel drive and absolutely held it and jumped clean over this ledge. Uh, it was pretty wild. And he actually done it like four times, I think. Uh, so be sure you're watching the videos and stuff coming out from all the media. Right. Well, speaking of media, I mean, who would you like to thank for the media? Uh, as always, we got Madram, mm -hmm. Cole with Madram, and uh, he's got a lot of guys that help him. Uh, yeah. Busted, Busted, Busted Knuckle, Knuckle. Yeah. Matt, uh, you guys, Rock Riggs, uh, and Image Off-Road, Christy, she's got some people to help her, and they get some really good photos and stuff. So right. be sure and uh, be sure and check out the footage and, and watch those videos. Uh, we'll share a lot of it to the social media. Uh, so the rock racing pages as well. So y'all go check that out. We will be right back with the SRRS post race show. Welcome back to the SRRS post race show. All right, y'all. To start the day off with, we had 28 leave the starting line. 28 left the start 28. line. 28. At the end of the day, who's our top five? Top five. In, in number five, we got uh, Hitman Travis Lovett uh, on the first hill. He had a 21.18, earning him 40 points. And uh, mm. second hill, 12.41, uh, earning him 39 points with a total of 79 points. All right. All right. In fifth, we got Timmy Cameron. He had a 21.01 on the first hill, earning him 41 points and a 12.30 on the second, earning him 40 points with a total of 81. 81, that's two mm -hmm. points ahead of Travis Lovett. Yes, it is. Uh, making it to the podium is uh, in third is Ethan Spiegel. This kid can drive. I mean, he come out of nowhere last year and he continues to, to make it to the top quite often. On the first hill, he put together a 20.05, uh, getting him 43 points, which is uh, third place in that hill. And then on the second hill, he got 11.22, also earning him third place with another 43 points with a total of 86 points. All right, well, just a couple uh, seconds faster than Ethan, we had uh, Team Underrated. Yep, that's uh, AJ Rockwell and Sydney Rockwell. Yep, absolutely. And I tell you, it's it's a good thing to see Sydney out there now. It really yep. is. Yep. Well, it's a great thing. All right, and first hill, they had an 18.60, earning them 50 points. And on the second hill, they had an 11.89, earning 41 with a total of 91. 91 points. Absolutely. And on that, that first hill with that 18.6, uh, go find the video to that because it was I impressive. Had, yes, it was. It was, great. it was by far the biggest air, and very seldom do you see the biggest air and the fastest run. So that mm -hmm. was very impressive that he put that together. But at the end, uh, a guy that come from the UTV class last year, mm -hmm. Brandon Davis in Showtime 2.0, earned 19.20 uh, on the first hill with uh, second place, which is 46 points. And on the second hill, he got... 11.18 uh, with another 46 points, so that's second place again with a total of 92 points, putting him at the top of the deal. He got to take on one of these uh, really nice, cool trophies that we got presented by Nitro and National Tire and Wheel. So that's, that's not bad for your first race. Not bad Stepping for out uh, the UTV class. He's only wow. been in that thing for, for I think, three times. Uh, I'd ask his wife how many times he's been in, and she said three times, so not bad at all. Man, that's great. That's good running. At, uh, we also have a race coming up very soon. It'll be the first race for the Northern Series presented by National Tire and Wheel, so be sure and start watching for that. We also have some uh, new stuff we did this year, some driver shirts. Here's one uh, with the riot buggy, Jake Berkey. So got one right here, Rum Runner. It's got to go for it. Yep. yep. Oh. Who else we got? We got the Godfather over here. Screaming, screaming Bobby Blue. Tanner. Be sure you check out the... Uh, Check us out at the, at the official booth uh, at the events and pick up your driver's shirts. We'll have some more new ones coming out at the next race. We've got hats, all kind of stuff. All kind of stuff, coffee mugs, all kind of stuff. So uh, be sure to check out www.srrs.rocks for all the rest of the, the information on the finishing order. And uh, be sure to share and like this video. And we'll see y'all at the next race. Yes, sir. The Southern Rock Racing Series Bouncer Post Race Show is brought to you by Nitro Gear. The Southern Rock Racing Series is back for 2016. Produced by Subtle Off-Road Productions. 
This has been a Rock Rigs production.